clithedron. Eight sides, they're all equilateral triangles. So you just... Now I haven't changed my compass setting. So you can see the compass setting will define the edges. So the next one that I make uh, will be in proportion to by luck, this earlier one I made is very close, but not exact. The next octahedron will actually like fit onto it in that way. So that's a, uh, another cool way to do it, to keep your compass settings always at the same. So, octahedron. Octo being eight sides. One, two, three, four. Just imagine like two pyramids stuck on top of each other. One, two, three, four. A total of eight. Okay, construction line. Then begin with a vesica. And we're going to do, a, so I'll start off on the side. We're going to do another seed of life. So this seed of life or the vesica basically built again around equilateral triangles which lead to the hexagon. Which is also like a, in 2D it's a nice representation of the cube. Okay, but octahedron eight sided. So again we're going to have uh, equilateral triangles and virtually identical so I'm going to start by going across through the middle there, and so we're going to have one, two, three, but we need a fourth. And so just to draw the template, just to highlight the parts. Okay, so again, so we have one equilateral triangle here. Okay, so let me, before I mark the paper underneath, I'm going to go to the back again. Push down hard to help with the folding. Okay. Uh, finish off these lines to the centre. So we have one, two, three, four equilateral triangles. One, two, three, four. That will basically give us your top. But once again, I'm going to. Add one more just to help with the firmness of it, just to help with the sticking it together. So you could, this is uh, not, not a necessary one, it's just a, a helpful piece. And now what we need to do is we have one, two, three, four. Now we need to add the bottom four, so we're just going to extend each one of these triangles out and that will give us our extra four that we need and once again these little arcs that will be connected to it will help us uh, just by help us with the sticking it all together now if you can see like you can even use you know if you were at the at the beginning if you would extend these lines out you would already have it from the start but I just wanted to highlight the So we have one, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, and four, and just this added one again. That's not necessary just to help with the folding. Uh, now, I'll highlight these. 
So just to help with uh, uh, an easiest way. So if I highlight this piece, we're going to keep that. And we're going to keep one on that side, one on that side, and one on that side. So if you're gluing it together, this is just to, uh, it's good to include these because these will give you that extra little bit just to help you glue and make it look a little bit neater. Now, cut it out. Follow these lines. Keep that extra little bit of paper on the edge there. Sorry about that. I'm rushing a little bit so I'm not being as neat. And that purple triangle is just to help us uh, stick it all together and give a little bit of extra strength. But again, it's not necessary, it's just a helpful piece. Okay, so we now just fold along those lines. Pushing down hard with a biro or a ballpoint just to help create those fold lines makes it a a lot easier at the end. Fold your tabs over. And so there's your basic pattern. Well, do we get the one part? matter of folding those pieces together and if you see like if you added glue you could just stick it together and give it so you don't have a sticky tape on the outside making it look roughish and there we have our final piece folded in there we have our Octahedron. Eight sides, eight triangles, 180 degrees in a triangle, 14, 40 degrees. And uh, coincidentally, it's the number of minutes in a day. And octahedron and tetrahedron. And you see, because we had the compass at the same, haven't changed the setting of a compass. They also fit together. So if you made a bunch of these little ones, you can also like make little models and tools. But there you go. It's the first of your platonic, first two of the five platonic solids.